Okay, if you're studying any sort of math course that involves algebra, of course, that could be an actual algebra course, pre-algebra, some of the type of course that you're working with, basic variables and equations, well, you're likely going to run into a problem like this. So we're going to solve this problem, but let me tell you what the actual problem is. So here we have three numbers, uh, x, 2x, and 3x, and we're told that the average of these three mystery numbers is 12. So the question is, what are the actual numbers? Okay, what are these actual numbers? So again, I've kind of gave you a little bit of a hint. We are going to be using some algebra to do this particular problem. But uh, you, what you want to think about uh, before you solve any problem like this is, what is the average? How do we find the average? Kind of go through that real quick. And then if you want to actually try to solve this, go ahead and do so and put your answer into the comments section, your, uh, the answer course or the answers we're looking for is the actual number. So we're looking for three numbers such that um, uh, x, 2x, and 3x, these three mystery numbers, the average is 12. But uh, if you're not quite sure what to do, well, stick around for a couple minutes. I'm gonna explain this exactly. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And if you're struggling in math right now, listen, don't give up. That's the worst thing you can do. I'm telling you right now, you can do much, much better. But, but uh, what you uh, need is great math instruction. What does that look like? Well, it's clear, it's understandable, and most importantly, it's comprehensive. It's not like a quick little short tutorial video that doesn't really explain things fully enough. So if you're looking for great instruction, check out my math help program. I'm, I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video, but I cover math at uh, middle school, high school, even college level. So a wide range of um, math courses that can definitely help you out. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the dedicated math section, there's a ton of them out there. Things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out if you homeschool. Definitely check out my homeschool math courses. They've gotten excellent reviews from homeschoolers over the decades. By the way, if you need a pair of math notes, because everyone needs something to study from, I'm going to leave a link to my math notes in the description of this video. And if this little video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's get into this problem. And again, we're dealing with the average. Another word for the average is the mean, okay? There's another word out there we're called the median. All right, I'll write this out. Do not confuse the median. It is not the mean, okay? The mean is the average, but... Uh, Let's just review real quick how to find the average given some numbers. Okay, so if I gave you the numbers 2, 3, and 7, and I told you to find the average or the mean, how would we find the average? Well, pretty much everyone uh, remembers how to do this, but if you forgot, let's quickly go over it. Okay, so 2, 3, and 7. What we're going to do is we're going to add up these numbers. So that's 2 plus 3 plus 7. And then we're going to divide by how many numbers uh, we have. So how many numbers do we have? We have one, two, three. So we're going to divide by three. Okay, so this is how you find the average. You um, add up your respective numbers and then you divide by the, uh, by the number of numbers you have. Okay, so here again, we have three numbers. We're going to divide by three. So two plus three plus seven, seven plus three is ten. 10 plus 2 is 12, so that's going to be 12 divided by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, so the average is 4. Okay. Now, just uh, real quick, uh, uh, looking at these numbers, 2, 3, and 7, we're saying the average is equal to 4. The t uh, this is kind of part of a broader topic called the measures of central tendency. It's like basic uh, statistics. So um, average, the mean, okay, tells us 1. Uh, uh, central tendency of information, uh, but the median also tells us something else, and then sometimes there's something called the mode, there's something called the range, okay, there's something called the standard deviation, and go on and on and on. So, you know, uh, basic st uh, statistics is something that you absolutely need to be aware of, and of course, working with the average is just real fundamental kind of stuff. So hopefully, you realize that, but if we are talking about the average, you should have a, a basic sense of what it is. Okay, so this is how we calculate the average. Now, before I show you the solution, let's go back over here, okay? So here we have three numbers. We have x, 2x, x, 
2x and 3x. So if I can calculate the average for that, I know it's going to be equal to 12. So a little bit of a hint here, what you're going to be doing is setting up a, uh, in an equation. Okay, then you're going to be solving for that equation, and then you're going to use that information to answer the question. So I'm kind of giving you a little bit of a hint. There's the problem one more time if you want to go in and try this on your own, but I'm going to go ahead and solve it right now. All right, so here we go. So we have three numbers, x plus 2x and 3x. I just know that the average is 3, but we have three numbers, 1, 2, 3. So how do we find the average? Well, we add up the three numbers, x plus 2x plus 3x, and we divide by the number of numbers we have, 1, 2, 3. So we're going to divide by 3. If I do this, I have calculated the average. Well, the average is equal to 12. So I can just say this is the average is equal to 12. So what you want to do in a problem like this is set up a nice equation. All right. Now, of course, at this point, you need to know how to solve basic equations. Again, I kind of gave you a little bit of that hint um, that we were going to use algebra. But let's go ahead and do this now. All right, so x plus 2x plus 3x, well, 2x and 3x is 5x plus another x is 6x. So our numerator there is 6x over 3. That's going to be equal to 12. So 6x divided by 3, 6 divided by 3 is, of course, 2. So we have 2x is equal to 12. And to solve for x, I, I simply need to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So I get x is equal to 6. Okay. Now, what ends up happening is um, a lot of students will get to this point and then they'll just quit. All right. But by the way, if you got this answer, if you were able to get up to this point, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and a few check marks as you are definitely on the right track to getting the solution here. All right. So X is equal to six, but we're not done. OK. The question was, what are these three numbers? Well, now we need to use that information to uh, answer the rest of the uh, problem. Okay, so we know x is equal to 6, and we were able to do that because we set up an equation and solved. So our three numbers, again, were x, 2x, and 3x. Well, listen, I just uh, determined x is equal to 6, so this, our first number here, is 6, okay, because x is equal to 6, so that's what x is. Now, I have to find this second number, 2x, which is what? Well, 2x, again, x is 6, so that's going to be 2 times 6. So 2 times 6 is 12. And then our third number is going to be 3 times x. Again, x is 6, so 3 times 6 is 18. So these are our three numbers, but guess what? Let's just make sure that when I take the average of these three numbers, it is equal to 12. We can always check our work in mathematics. That's what makes it so cool. So let's go into this real quick. 6 plus 12 plus 18. We have three numbers, 1, 2, 3. We'll divide that by 3. 6 plus 12 plus 18 is 36. 36 divided by 3 is, in fact, 12. So this worked out perfectly. All right, so how did you do? If you got this all right, all on your own, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A++, a 150%. Uh, I'm going to give you multiple stars so you can have an extra special day. Matter of fact, if you were in one of my math classes, I might just say, I'm so impressed by your work. Just take the rest of the year off. I'll send you your report card in the mail. But uh, listen, in all seriousness, this is not that difficult of a problem. Okay, It's definitely something that you're going to encounter like in pre-algebra, Algebra 1 and whatnot. But um, you know, just because it's not difficult uh, in terms of um, students taking those courses, you know, uh, never feel bad about not knowing something in math, okay? This might be something that you were confused about. The whole idea behind me making these videos is to help you out and clear things up. So hopefully I did my job. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you need help with any of this stuff, especially with the data, uh, basic statistics and all that kind of stuff, definitely want to check out like my pre-algebra course or my Algebra 1 course and my Algebra 2 course. I really get heavy duty into um, uh, statistics and different uh, related topics along that, of course, uh, along with the respective uh, algebra topics as well. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.